Hey guys, welcome to Epic Kirby for this week's video. I'm doing a review, an honest review of G-rated things to do in Vegas. As some of you may know, I took a trip to Vegas with Shay and AJ and Shay's friend Steven. It was like a week ago. And I don't really like doing the whole gambling, going to clubs, strip clubs and stuff like that and whatever things to do in Vegas. I don't like doing that stuff. So Shay looked up a bunch of stuff to do in Vegas that I would feel comfortable doing. So now I'm going to give an honest review of all of those things. <laughs> first of all, so the first night that we got there, um, we went to the aquarium. This was like the biggest disappointment, honestly. It was very small. There was no penguins. I'm a Sue. It was like $29 a person. And just like, it was really not worth it. Like, it's so much better. Like, because the, the aquarium, sorry, I can't think of that word for a second. The aquarium here is like $20 a person and has penguins and you could spend like an hour or two there like it's really awesome so the one in vegas no 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 not so good no not so good here we go here i am with a new track i made it cause you want me back it's on for me but it took a while to do it all in a possible style After that that night we finally got to take a look at our hotel which we stayed in the Luxor hotel it is the pyramid one they have like the you know the main pyramid hotel and then two towers we stayed in the towers because it was cheaper but we did get to take a look inside the pyramid one that's where we checked in and everything and that there's a huge like casino in the middle which I did not care for but like it had a really really cool Egyptian decorations and just like it was really cool if you like Egyptian stuff you absolutely love it and like right in the front there's a giant sphinx like giant it was honestly it was very very cool I love that hotel and the bathtub in that room it was really really deep and so taking baths in there was so nice <laughs> The next day we went to Adventure Dome, which is a, a tiny amusement park inside of the Hotel Circus Circus. They have like two really big roller coasters and then a few other mini rides. There was for some that were like really exciting and then some like kitty ones. We basically got rode on a mix of all of them. And it was really, like, this was definitely one of my favorite parts of the entire trip. It was so fun those roller coasters were like really cool and a little cool side note it was AJ's very first time on a roller coaster in his entire life he absolutely loved it I'm going to I asked it like asked him how he really liked it um to videoed it you know videoed his reaction afterwards and I'll put that in tell me how was your very first experience on a roller coaster Next thing that we did, we went to M&M World. <sighs> it has like four or five levels and there's like giant M&Ms on the outside of the building. And like the second floor, I think, has the M&M wall. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. I have and I thought it was really cool. It's very colorful. It's like giant and really long. And <laughs> I spent like let me show you. So this bag of M and M's is like a little. It's like up to there, I think. Yeah. Twenty four dollars. I got caramel M and M, and then I got mini M and M because nothing beats a mini M and M, and then unicorn M and M's. 
I spent a lot of money for it not being my favorite candy. <laughs> but the store was really cool. It, I mean, like, if you really love M&M's, definitely worth it to go. It's kind of just cool to see for anyone else. I mean, I'm not, I don't really love M&M's, but I love candy. And then next thing, we went to Seven Magic Mountains. Now these last three things are not in Vegas. Uh, two of them are in Nevada. And so these are kind of like fun things to do while you're in the area. So this is kind of like a hunt in the middle of nowhere. And there's these giant colorful boulders stacked on top of each other. <sighs> and we decided to go there for a really cool photo shoot. I honestly didn't expect that many people to be there, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think it was that popular because I've never heard of it. But there was quite a few people when we got there. So there's kind of a few people in the back of our pictures, but oh well. And I mean, yeah, I, I say that it is worth it to go. It was interesting. Definitely a cool photo shoot stop. Not really much to actually stay and visit and stuff. is Nelson's ghost town this was another like one of my favorite parts of this trip I love like abandoned ghost town stuff I love that stuff and I you may know because I love haunted stuff <laughs> but <laughs> anyways um, while we were there AJ got me this necklace which I asked someone who knows a lot about crystals it's like <clears throat> a quartz some type of quartz and that's basically made of glass so that's basically like a home like a man-made quartz but it helps with like if you said like psychic powers and astral projection and stuff like that so yeah he got me this I was like really I thought it was really really pretty and I tried to point out to Shay she wasn't listening but I did say something about it AJ had no idea, but he went, he saw it, like, later, after I saw it, and then he bought it for me, not knowing that I was even interested in it at all. So that's kind of cool. And then, also, gotta keep going back here for stuff. He also got me this. This is very cute. I wasn't able to ask that guy about this I forgot to take it but <clears throat> yeah it was like it was really small they do mind tours we didn't do that but <clears throat> maybe someday I can go back and be able to do that mind tour <sighs> they have like re lots of really cool like old cars and buildings and stuff like that and Shay and I definitely took a lot <laughs> a lot of pictures there because it was just like so it was really good for photo shoot background. Last thing we did, we went to Little Jamaica. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. It's not very popular. Apparently, it used to be very popular. <clears throat> like it used to be like this, like completely like nature made like pool area and it's got a waterfall <clears throat> someone complained that about the all the attention it was getting so they tore it down and then someone else came back and like remade it into what it was so it's like man-made but you get to see what it looked like when it was like when it wasn't man-made it's snowing right now and I'm about to go work, do DoorDash. Mm. That was another one of my favorite things. It's like Adventure Dome and Little Jamaica. Those were the two like best things to do. That one is actually in Arizona, but it's like just across the border of Nevada. And it's definitely worth it to go. There's a little bit of a hike. If you're not really used to like being active and stuff like that, 
this will definitely be hard or you can find an easier way we didn't really try to find an easier way we just went and did it <sighs> so if you guys can find an easier way there good for you I wasn't able to walk for days because it was like so uphill walking back um, the water it was warm it was like cold when you like first touch it but it was pretty warm for it being an outside water thing in January those are my honest reviews uh, I think personally the other things to do in Vegas like these things are way more fun to do than trying to gamble away all your money which is so ironic because are, everything there in Vegas is so freaking expensive we basically ate out like every meal except for like the first meal when we got there and like the food the food is good like there was this restaurant inside of our hotel it was like the original chicken tender something like that Ooh. That chicken was so good. And we got a chocolate milkshake there. It was so good. <laughs> Maybe I'll become a, a foodie YouTuber. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe, and subscribe to Epic Extra. And yeah. Remember to follow your dreams. And I love you guys. I just hit my nose. Ow. Bye. <laughs> Tease the needle, shake the tweeter, push the fader, bust the meter, tease the needle.